Hey everyone, it's Nightlight9, and in this video, we're gonna go over the new Monster Hunter collab banner featuring Zack and Cloud. Um, kind of just get right into it. One thing I do want to, uh, I guess, start with is by mentioning they've given us a free 10 draw or 10 tickets to use. Uh, we can use them anywhere on these banners, and I think that is really, really generous. Not sure if I'm going to be using mine on this particular uh, banner or if I'm going to wait to see like what Tifa gets or something like that, but uh, very cool and very excited about that. Uh, taking a look at the stamp card, the other thing I'm excited about is, as usual, for something like a collab or an anniversary, uh, they are giving the extra weapons in you know the fourth slot and the eighth slot here on card two. So this gives everybody a lot more incentive to pull. And I would definitely weigh that uh, when considering whether to pull or save uh, by the end of this collab. Okay, starting with Cloud. I just want to say first and foremost that uh, this this costume rocks, right? I, I get really big like Dragoon type of vibes, uh, especially if anybody ever played like Final Fantasy XI online. Uh, this just reminds me of Dragoon Armor, and I really, really like it. I love the sword, too. I love... I, I said this in my last video. They just pair really well. The colors work. Big fan of this. I uh, like the aesthetics 100%. Uh, Glavina's Sword is the name of the sword, and this sword is really good. Can we just can we just talk about the fact that at 5-star, obviously this is at 120, but you know even at level 80, it's going to be pretty significant plus 40 points to HP. That is, I think is pretty huge for a five-star weapon. I really like that. Um, before I get too much more into these though, we'll take a look at the materia slots, physical attack boost, which makes sense, attack boost fire, very nice. It's always nice to have an elemental boost on a non-elemental weapon in case that's something that's needed. And then circle sigil boost. So. These are all really in line with what we would expect from a high-level weapon like this. Um, coming over to, let's say, OB-10, you're looking at a maxed out 850% physical non-elemental, um, mid-potency physical defense decrease, and high-potency physical attack increase, with huge numbers to HP, 62 points, uh, 39 points to physical ability potency. If we ratchet it back down to OB-6, you can see that's... That's going to be where you start this high potency. So at five star, this is mid, but this is also mid, the physical defense down. I think that's quite strong, quite strong. And then when you get to OB6, you're going to see the high potency come in on the self HP increase. Now, obviously, this is at 120, but, uh, you know, and so 54, 27, if you want to see what it would look like at, let's say, level 90, uh, my boy Tom Rom again has come through. He has put this together, this graphic that I'm showing right now. And this is about what this weapon would look like uh, if you didn't take it all the way to 120, just to give you a feel, you know, for where we're headed on that. Okay, so um, ultimately, this is a really good weapon, right? And I want to take a moment at OB6 here to compare it to Amaranth's Claws because that's a very similar weapon, but this is power creeping that by quite a bit. So pay attention, OB6, we're at 740, mid potency defense down and high potency physical attack up. If we come over to our Amaranth's Claws, we're gonna find that basically this is doing kind of the same thing. So if we go up to OB6 at 120, boost HP plus 40, physical ability potency plus 27. And out of the box, it's only plus 30. So this current weapon has 10 more points of boost HP just innately. And then here, 630% damage on Amaranth's Claws, which honestly felt pretty good, especially when you're getting this high potency physical attack increase. Uh, this new weapon for Cloud literally has this plus a mid potency physical defense what else can you really want? And it's got the circle sigil boost and it's got the fire boost. So, and I can tell you, I still, when I'm using Tifa as like a main damage dealer, I don't always use Amaranth's Claws, but if I can fit them in with guide gloves, I use them as much as possible. And when I'm using elemental Tifa, I still use these 
uh, for the physical attack increase as much as I possibly can. The boost HP is also extremely nice, right? If you put this on a main hand, you like don't have to hardly worry about any other HP boosts. Hell, even as a sub weapon, it works really nice on any physical damage dealer because the, that HP boost plus the physical ability potency makes it a really good sub weapon. So coming back to where we were here on the draw screen, looking at Cloud's Glavinous Sword. Uh, yeah, this weapon is really, really good. I would say, I mean, it's like Amaran's Claws on steroids. If you don't have something like this, this is something to seriously consider pulling for. Uh, especially though, if you do have a like Zidane sword or something like that, where you already have a way to do a lot of physical uh, non-elemental damage, I think this is still pretty good because it's just a big enabler for Cloud. Um, but if you don't have anything like that, I think this goes up exponentially in value, to be honest with you. So something I would highly consider pulling for. Now, Glavinous Armor, boost physical attack, physical ability mastery. Um, very good. This is very similar to the gear we got for Tifa on the, uh, you know, when she got her guide gloves, right? So physical ability mastery is just a straight 15% bonus to physical ability damage as opposed to giving it our ability points because physical ability um, potency is something that has become, I would say, quite easy to max out. There's been a lot of weapons that have been giving those. And so it's pretty easy to max this out. That's where this comes into play. Boost physical attack just kind of adds to that. I would like to see HP here. Uh, in my experience, physical attack is also very easy to max. And HP is something that we're always kind of struggling for. So still, I think this is good armor. I can tell you, though, with Tifa, the problem is, you know, because I have hers, I still end up using the one that gives HP. And here, maybe I'll just show you because it'll be easier. So if we take a look at Tifa here, and I'm going to use these for comparisons, um, she has the guide uniform, which is physical attack, physical ability, mastery, exact same thing as this current cloud one. And then older from the uh, FF9 banner uh, or collab, we have the Amaranth costume, right? Which is physical ability potency plus 10, going to that R ability, and then HP plus 10. And I can tell you, although I want to use guide uniform, if I'm ever able to just go all out on attack, sure, guide uniform's coming in, but a lot of times I'm forced to use the Amaranth garb just for the extra HP. Now, Maybe that's not as much of a thing because if you get Cloud's weapon, it already has HP, like more HP than, you know, Tifa's weapons do. But it is something to add to your consideration. As far as I'm concerned, I think that uh, I think this armor is good for sure. I think it looks amazing. So that would really kind of push me over the edge. But uh, if you already have something similar, it's not nearly as powerful as what you're getting for Zax. We'll talk about that in just a second. Um, you know, so just kind of figure out what your account needs if you want to pull for this. Okay, um, coming over to Zax. So the first thing I want to say, I'm personally, you know, uh, it's not my cup of tea. I don't think it looks terrible or anything. I kind of like some of the, the vibe they're going with here with like the, I don't know what this is. Um, it kind of looks like some sort of hair. I think it would be really cool if it was more like fur. Uh, maybe that is kind of what it's supposed to be uh, coming out of this, but it's it's fine. It looks okay. I mean, I'm sure some of you are going to love it, and I hope you do. So here we are. Physical lightning damage, single target. We're looking at 940% when it's maxed, and, you know, if you take uh, your... 940 multiply that by 1.2 if his hp is over 70 percent you get 1128 so 1128 percent physical lightning damage but 70 percent is kind of a high threshold to be honest with you um if that was 50 percent, i would like it a little bit better but that's kind of splitting hairs uh, physical attack 31 is pretty low okay so the r abilities aren't that good but i'm the trade-off here is basically getting over a thousand percent of a an elemental damage which we know is you know considerably stronger obviously against weaknesses than like just physical or magical non-elemental damage um because 
you're already going to get a times two multiplier if you're attacking somebody weak to lightning. So that does make this really strong. As far as uh, materia goes, we've got physical, physical, X, sigil boost. I think that is all fine and dandy. You know, realistically here at OB6, you're looking at 780. And I mean, that's pretty good. I think that's like where, you know, Mirasame is around level OB10, give or take. So uh, it's, a, it's a fine weapon. And we don't really have a lot of single target lightning damage. So that is something to consider, especially if you don't have Cloud with Mirasame Battle Garb, etc. Then this is probably something I would be pulling for. Eleven Blade Arcanum, this is only the second character to get this. The first one was Cloud when the game was first introduced. So, it's been quite a long time, but we finally got another one. Lightning Ability Damage, plus 35%, and Physical Ability Potency, plus 10. Uh, this, this is really strong. I think this armor slaps, and that's all I can say on that. If you need uh, Lightning Damage... I think uh, Zach's kind of your guy here for this banner, although you will need this weapon as well because I was looking through my weapons for Zach and I don't see anything else that's really uh, that really covers that. So those are my thoughts on the banner. I will probably be doing a, uh, a second video on the event once I get more time to actually go through and kind of do some of the event, get a feel for it and everything like that. I'd be interested to know your guys' thoughts. Are you going to pull or not? Uh, a few things to be considering, right? Vincent is right around the corner. We believe he is coming in July. So I would say give or take six-ish weeks. Uh, then we have the one-year anniversary, which although it's not right around the corner, it's in sight. It's, you know, within the next four months, probably uh, three and a half, actually. So that's something also people are going to be considering. And we know there's going to be other characters in this collab. Obviously, Tifa being one that a lot of people are going to be watching for. So that's what we have for this video. Subscribe for future content if you're not already. If you are, I appreciate each and every one of your support. And as always, thanks for watching.